Welcome back! We are on the last quarter of this level set, everybody. We finished three-fourths of it, the first 60 levels, and we've just got 20 left. And I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that they're not going to be terribly crazy, but... I don't know, I'm preparing for the worst, too. So let's start off with drinking the dirty mop water. This is a level I've actually played uh, most of already, but then I had an epic fail when I tried recording and ended up walking to water twice at the very end. So I'm like, okay... Might as well just scrap this and start all over again. I mean, there's no use in keeping this around. And it wasted so much time, I was like, nah. This is not going to be fun to watch, especially after all I've put you guys through. I mean, I've had you watch, you know, rep repetition after repetition of long levels like crazy. And, you know, if there comes a time when, especially with a level like this that's really simple, it's just, you know... Why not just go ahead and just start it? I mean, it's not like there's there's some crazy whoa moment with this level. I mean, it's very simple, and I really like it for that reason. So I figured I'd just keep this recording, or ditch that recording, and just start another recording, and just see where it goes. So hope you guys don't mind. I think this is going to be more fun this way. So yeah, this level, I, I really like this one. This, this kind of reminds me, in some ways, of The Marsh, but a lot better. And with more aesthetics. Of course, Mar the Marsh had pretty good aesthetics too, but this one, I mean, I love just the arbitrariness of it. It just looks... It, it strikes that balance that's, that the original game really did well, which was arbitrary feeling, but totally calculated in how it was designed. You know what I mean? It's like, there are certain levels that, you know, there was just random stuff there, but even that random stuff has a point... And it's just so well done in the original game. And here, too, with this level, it, it just works so amazingly. So, yeah, I really like it a lot. Very nicely done, Josh. Now, the challenge here is that you got to recognize when to use the blocks and for what purpose. And that's kind of where it gets tough. Like, there... The way I came into this room, I think it was probably one of the most efficient ways to do it, because in my earlier attempts, I was totally coming from the right side, which was really dumb, because that didn't really do any good. So I think this way is ultimately better. And I'll push that up there. Okay. So at this point, I need to get over to the right side, and this is where the dirt can kind of become an issue. Because you got to make sure that you open up some paths. Like here, it looks like this will get us somewhere. So yeah, we can go totally go over here and clear that up. So yeah, you, you can unlock more stuff by doing that, and that's what makes this fun. So the title of this level, I have to wonder, does drinking the dirty mop water, is that supposed to be a reference to Josh's job as a maintenance worker at McDonald's? Because at least... At the time of this recording, I believe Josh works at McDonald's doing maintenance stuff. Of course, I'm going to be uploading this probably a few months later after I record it, so... Things could have changed by then, but at least last time I checked he was. So I wonder if he does mopping at some times, because I, I remember he did, uh... He made a level called Vat Filter, which talked about emptying out greasy pans or, like, vats full of grease or something like that, and... That sounds like something you might do at a like a greasy fast food place. But the good news is, from what I understand, Josh really enjoys his job a lot, which is great. I mean, if you can take honor in your job, then more power to you. I mean, that's kind of the way I, I try to approach Walmart. I mean, Walmart, I mean, let's face it, it's Walmart. It's not really that great, but, you know, I try to have fun with it. I try to make it into a game, and I, 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 I kid you not, there are these times when I'd be alone in the freezer at Walmart just doing stuff, and I would pretend like I was LPing my time at Walmart, giving commentary on everything, and I kind of made it more fun, you know? It, it really made the experience more interesting, so... You know, if you can take pride in what you do, hey, you got half the battle won right there. And I know I keep saying half the battle won in, like, all these videos, so I apologize for that. Okay, so now I need to know how to get down there. That's going to be the, the challenge now. Because I think I've kind of exhausted a bunch of blocks I can actually get to that are right around here. So, oh, here we go. Oh, that just goes right back over here. Okay, so this is not really working out so well. And that's on a corner, so that's not cool. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can extract this and move it over there, right? 
or not. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can just totally go, duh. Okay, I can just go straight across. Okay, good. So now, where can I go that would be the most advantageous? I think up here makes the most sense, so let's try that. I'm running out of time, and I'm hoping I can make this in time without any more issues. I hope I don't walk into water again. That would just be awful if that happens. Ugh. Okay, here we go. This is working out fairly well. And now, it looks like I'm going to have to go up this direction. Okay. And, yeah. Let's try this. There we go. Except now I got more blockage happening. Okay. Alright, let's try that. There we go. Now we got to cross over here, and we can go down and get this guy. Sweetness. But not push that in. Okay, I think we've got the bottom right corner covered. I think we're good with that. So now it's just a matter of coming up to the upper right corner. Right, so let's see. Here we go. Okay, this is good. Okay, one left. Good, good, good. Yes, awesome. And now we can just totally cross back to the beginning. Sweet. Well, that was fun. I liked that. That was a good level. Nice refresher. Alright, let's move on to Honor Among Thieves. And I believe this level replaced another level in this set. So, this one um, kind of looks like sort of something that is reminiscent of uh, Thief You've Taken All That Was Me by uh, Tyler Sontag. But what do we need to do here? Let's just kind of get a feel for this, because the nice thing about it is that we can just roam around and just see what, what we're doing, what we're up against. Okay, so I need to get some flippers, and ultimately, what do I want to do? I'm guessing go into that. Okay. I'm just trying to see what use there is. Oh, I need to go up there. Okay, so I need to get both a chip and go up into the area up there. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see if this works. Let's just see what we can do here first. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and well, the problem with this is I don't know if I have to go and see. What if you have to put a block? Okay, I'm going to save that. I, I don't feel right doing it right now. Okay, so here I have no other choice. I need to go this way. Okay, this is kind of straightforward, which is good. So now the question is, do I... No, I, I can't do that, so I need to use that recessed wall for later. So let me go here now. Okay, good. So that was important to save that for later. Alright. This is going well. And here... What is this all about? Huh. Do I have to turn it around this way? I'm, I'm assuming so. Let's... Let's just run with that, because that makes the most sense. And here I need to get it up there to use for the bomb, so... Yeah, how am I going to pull that off? Okay, so I'm going to have to push it up there, but then go around? How's that going to work? So once I push it up there, then I'm going to have to push it inward, and then... Then it's going to be... Oh, wait, no, I can approach it from above. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This will work. This will totally work, I think. There we go. Okay, so that's one down. Perfect. Awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just open all these, just so... I don't come up against one and find myself trapped or something. You just never can be too careful here. Alright, so I have to get rid of the flippers. Okay. Alright, so we need to say farewell to them. So what's our next objective? Do we get something else? Okay, yellow and a suction. So where's the yellow? 
over there. Okay, so we're going to need to open that up later. Alright, so let's take another one in. Gotta say, I'm really liking this a lot. This is really cool. So here, I need to push it there and then use the recessed wall. Okay, good, good, good. And then here, I need to... Hmm, hang on a sec. If I move it over here, then what? I push it up there and then I do my little twisty thing and go around? I guess so. See, now I've opened all these doors, it's a little bit more open. Yeah, I can totally do this, right? Yeah, that'll work. And then I just use the ice and go around. Okay, that's good. Awesome, alright. One more left, I think, and we should be good. So I don't need any boots to get inside, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that I can do this now. Well, no, assume nothing. Assume nothing. Well, no, I do need to get rid of them anyway, so never mind. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, so this time I get ice skates. This kind of reminds me in some ways of that level called the Lather, Rinse, Repeat by Tyler, combined with the Thief You Taken All That Was Me kind of thing. So that's really neat. So up here, we do this again. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So what's that recessed wall there supposed to be used for, I wonder? Huh. Well, let's go for it. And there we go. Except not. Okay, so we need to go through a maze, apparently. And it's an invisible maze, and we've just got a little bit of time left here. Which is kind of worrisome. Okay. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing. Hopefully this will lead to victory. Okay, come on. Yes, perfect. That was a lot of fun. I really liked that level a lot. Okay, Blazing Jungle. Oh, wow, this looks... Whoa. I wonder if this is meant to be kind of like a tribute to CCLP2's jungle. So that, that was a fun level, and I know Josh likes that one a lot. Uh, was I supposed to kill that guy off? I don't know. Let's start over. Okay, I'm going to assume that that was right. Okay, yes, good. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what do I do with you, man? Do I do this? Okay, that makes sense, because that provides a little... Oh, that's clever, the teeth there does a thing. That's cool, I like that, that's really neat. Okay, so now we got a fireball line and a bug. Gotta say, this is a pretty dense jungle here. A lot denser than that one from uh, CCLP2. Okay, now I can kill him, right? Until we kill him? Okay, good. And now I can get you. Okay, this is working out pretty nicely. Alright, so now let's move forward. Okay, so that was right, because now I have to go over here and get the blue key. Awesome! Okay, this level is solving itself. Except I forgot to go back and get that ship over there. Okay, let's do that real quick. I hope there's no recessed wall stuff going on here. Which it looks like there isn't, so that's good. And plenty of time, and thankfully the fireballs won't go in there because they turn right, so that's good. Okay, I think we've gotten everything that we need to get, so let's move forward. And not get clobbered by bees, bug things. Okay, this room is both a sardine can and a sokoban. The red button will activate the tanks and toggle door once. Okay, so this is one of those sardine puzzles. Hmm... This is both mad and a maze. You have been warned. That's kind of what that reminded me of. Um, 
I'm assuming I need to get these. Hang on. Yeah, I'm going to need to scrunch these in here before I can really commit them to anything. Because I can't push one up there and expect to get the other ones down. Nor can I put one here, because I ultimately need to fish them out from this spot with everything going on. So that's not going to work. So yeah, I'm going to need to find a way to make that happen. Okay. I guess I can leave one in here. That, that could be the trick. So let's try this out. So let's hope hope this will work. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, hopefully we'll get it. And we need all four in there, so... Huh, interesting. Do I need to put two here? Is that how it works? I'm going to assume yes, because I that pop-up wall has to be used for something. And I can't find a way to make that happen. Yeah, that's, it's going to have to be that. I can't see any other way to do it. So let's do it this way. Okay, so now we're trapped. So that means that now we can totally start doing stuff here. I can do this, because I don't need that to access anything, and I can go around here, and now I can push the others in. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, so what does that accomplish? Um, how do I get back? Oh wait, the bug room, or the, not the bug room, the fireball room. Okay, that makes sense. So, oh here are the traps, okay, I was totally missing that. Alright, so now I'm in here. So what is this room all about? So we get some blocks, some stuff. Okay, it's looking like I need to get the fire boots first from there, so that's pretty straightforward. And now I need to get this out. Okay, I'm liking this level, this is great. So thankfully... Even though it's linear, the challenges are fairly simple, so that's that's really nice. I'm assuming I have to get my boots stolen, because I don't see any other way out of that. And, yeah, okay, there's no other way I could really use them anywhere else, so that's good to know. Okay, and now we got a little precarious situation here with these bugs, but not too precarious. All right, doing well, doing well, all right. And now we can go into this part where there's a walker, which kind of makes me worried. Because I don't really know where to... Okay, there's a path down there. That makes me feel better. Okay, so I need to get this thing up here while the walker's down there, huh? Okay, take a deep breath. Perfect, all right. Good, 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 and let's go down here. And now we got some blocks. Hmm. See, this kind of worries me. Which of those buttons connects to what? That's kind of a little iffy. And for this, do I even need that top recessed wall? I mean, this seems to be just a matter of... Oh, how could I have been that dumb to not have seen that? Okay, let's start over. Sorry about that. I I need to start thinking fourth dimensionally, as Doc Brown would say. Except it's not really fourth dimensionally. Okay, that was kind of a close one, but we made it. And, oh, don't forget the chip this time. That'll save us a lot of time on this attempt. Whoa, I almost walked right into that thing. Okay, let's not be reckless. That's the thing. I don't want to be reckless. I just want to get through the jungle alive. So, there's this song. Um, every time I hear about a jungle, I think of this song. It was this old 50s song. It was sung by a group called the Cadets, I think. I think there was another group that sung it, but it was called Stranded in the Jungle. It was this really silly song about this guy, and he was stranded in the jungle, 
And I don't know what jungle it was. Like, I don't know what country it was in or anything like that. But he really wanted to return to the States to see his girlfriend or something. And uh, the song kept on switching back and forth from the perspective of him. And the background music would always be this kind of tribal sounding... And then he would be just kind of like rapping this sort of... I was stranded in the jungle and they're trying to stay away. You know, and all this stuff. And then and then they would like switch over to Meanwhile, back in the States. And then they would play this like swingy and then then they would feature like this guy who was apparently trying to woo his girlfriend and it's like baby baby let's make romance okay yeah and so eventually he makes it out back out of the jungle and back into the states and he escapes from some cannibals and it's an awesome song and yeah it's really silly but I loved it as a teenager I thought it was hilarious okay so now we're back into the green door thingy. Well, okay, everywhere is the green door thingy. What am I saying? I don't know. Okay. And now we can do this again. I like this room a lot. It's really nice and simple. I always worry when I see recessed walls, though. That's why I always get all, like, nervous, and I just... Why did I do that? Oh, I forgot the bug... Long levels, man. They'll really get to you after a while. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, I'll I'll try to avoid talking about being stranded in the jungle now. Oh, wait, I guess alternatively I could have had it go through the ball thing and then come around. Okay, that's another way you could do it. I, oops. That is not another way you could do it. That is called killing yourself in a really silly way. Okay, let's try the alternate way. I want to see how this works. Because this looks kind of like it could be cool. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a much better way than trying to race over there to get that done. Okay, and let's watch out for the bugs this time. Because those bugs, man, they will eat your soul. Because that's what bugs do. They're soul-eating things. I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to be not stranded in the jungle. Okay. Now let's do the sardine can. Where did this, this term sardine... Like, where did that come from? Did that originate from Josh's uh, level sardine production... Because he made a level called that, although maybe it originated from the level called Sardines in CCLP3, although in that level you were tricked into doing a sardine can when there really wasn't one or something like that. Okay, so now switch. Okay, so let's do our little exercise here. I'm hoping I haven't forgotten a chip somewhere along the way. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Alright, so now we just got one more button, and yep, we can move on. Alright, so this room, try not to make a misstep. Alright, here we go. Alright, this time, don't careen into a bug. There we go. And get the chip up here. No fuss. Good. Perfect. All right. And walker. Perfect. There we go. I was worried about that, but thankfully it wasn't bad. Okay, so this area here. What I really should have done was that. That would have made way more sense than whatever shenanigans I was trying to do there. And for this, I really just need to use this right there. So here, this should release this, right? So what does this do? Okay, that opens that up. Hmm, I wonder what did that. So I'm gonna guess that I need to clear a path. Yeah, I need to clear a path for that guy. But I 
Oh wait, I don't need to worry about pressing these multiple times because they're just gonna go into water, right? So that's that's no biggie. This isn't like the fireworks factory, thankfully. That is a cool puzzle. I like that puzzle. All right, so let's get you up here, man. Because this is where the party's at. The party is where the bombs are. And now let's go into here and get this. And I don't think I have any other choice but to go in here unless there's some sort of weird partial posting action, but I don't think so. So let's just go through that. And now we got block cloning going on. Albeit with a bit of a delayed cloning. I wonder if there's like a tank pressing that. That... Eh, I don't know how I feel about close quarters dodging that late into the level, but I, I think I can manage. There. Okay, thankfully the bug doesn't go where you are where you have to wait for that uh, run. There you go. We have to wait for the splash delay to take place. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. Oh no, blobs toward the end, really? Really? You can't be serious, right? Blobs toward the end. Wait, did these clone when I clone the blocks? Is that how that works? I, yeah, there's a fireball cloner up there and two buttons. I bet that's how it works. Okay, so now I need to bring the blocks in from that other room over here. That is neat. I like that. Or at least one block over here, which I guess has to be this one. And don't trap yourself in there by doing that. I guess that you could just always get it out, but I don't really want to do that, though. There we go. And now they all decide to congregate right over here. Which makes things a little bit trickier. But now they're kind of spreading themselves out, so go for it. And that was really risky, but I think we're okay. All right. Green, okay, great. We can now get out of here. Question, though, is... Oh, wait, we got those fire boots, right. They're down over here, aren't they? Yeah, here we are. Oh, I love being able to open up a really confined area and just go everywhere. It's so much fun. But now we need to get some toggle button stuff happening. So where did the sardine can thing trigger the toggle button? That is the question of the hour. I gotta be careful not to let too much of these things out. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around now that we've got all this time and just check things out. Where is this toggle button? Oh, there you are. Okay. So that's how you do it. So now we should be home free. Sweet. Blazing jungle complete and we are stranded no more. Alright, well we'll continue with mine in the next video.